so I understand that Retail Tycoon is the first original game in a while. But it doesn't come with a tutorial on how to use it. This has confused many players. And I understand this. So I will be showing through a few things to get you on the get go. So first things first, you want to go to an unknown plot of land and just claim it. Next go into your little building. Pretty small, but you want to press 5 to get to furnish and buy a cheap cash register. After that, you want to press 2 to go into the list of products you can buy to then sell. Make sure it's cheap enough to buy an ample amount. If you don't have enough to buy an ample amount, you can end up making money extremely slowly. This is a game where time is really money. I found that the greatest way to make money quickly and cheap is with selling books and food. Those are the two I will go for first. So then you are gonna need the correct shelf to place them on. Go ahead and go into furnish and the shelves are simply there. Mouse over each shelf and see which ones hold the product you will be selling. The number beside what product it can hold is how much it will stock onto the shelf at a time. Make sure that when you buy the shelf that you still have the money to buy an ample amount of products. Buy the shelf and place it in a convenient area. Next press 1 to use the manage tool. You can manage shelves and workers you've hired. Just use manage and clip the shelf, a list of stockable items will come up for that shelf, clip the item you'll be selling and it will auto stock, you will have to refill it because it won't refill itself. And that cash register the cheap one is not automatic, you have to stand at it so people can buy your products. Please note that the automated cashier machine holds 60% less customers in its line than if you went for a man powered one. So now customers will come into your shop and look at the things you have for sale. Like any customer they will take their time doing so. Sometimes they won't find anything they want and leave. That's the sign for a retailer to begin selling different products after books and food. Try video games or candy. Those are popular and sell quickly. Once your income is around $100 per minute you can start saving up for either more shelves or an automated cash register to speed it up. Also there is upgrading. This is slightly necessary to gain money faster. Each 9 unit section surrounding your little shack of a store will cost $1000. Beyond that costs $2000 and so on. You can also get a better parking lot upgrade. Beyond your dirt plot is a gravel plot and then a few larger paved. Next is your entrance sign for your store. This is an actual thing when you enter the parking lot of a mall or a bunch of big stores together. Your first upgrade will be a small metal sign, then a fancy, then a big sign, and finally the billboard you'd see when going down the highway. I'm not sure if you'd waste your money on the accessories, but the description of them is for aesthetic I never tried to see if they might make your store more popular just as an upgraded sign but I'm sure many of you would like to make your store look good. So right now the only accessories available are potted plants to be placed in different ways and then there's a bench. I think there is someone next door to me with a mall that looks fairly pretty. So now that we've got the basics of management down, you can only wait around and restock for a while. Like I've said earlier, time is money and this game will have you waiting. It's not such a great idea to sell many or most products without having many checkouts because once you have many different things to buy people will be coming in boat loads no matter if your parking lot is dirt. I almost forgot. There's also this options thing where you can set the music of your store if you build speakers into the ceiling. You can also change the cyan theme your store has been doing into another color, so I'll set the color to straight red, and give my shop a stupid name just for the heck of it. In the options you can also save your store in the slot. 
if you don't save it into a slot you can end up losing the store forever. That should be all I really need to say. Every other part of the game explains itself. If you have any questions about things you are having trouble with, ask in the comments and I'm sure I know about it. The game isn't intricate but it is pretty great 